Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. In the last episode, I got my butt kicked by Fun Baba. I've leveled up since then, gotten a few things done that I should have gotten done, and hopefully this time it goes much better. So I'm just going to continue on from right where pretty much a little bit before where I left off. Ow, I got a boo boo. Help run, Fun Baba's is coming. He's a cop. Sorry for the odd opening with no music, but that's just how that part happened to be. And she's like, Rrr. Von Bub is an ancient demon who was released when the world was undone. This fight is gonna I'm gonna lose regardless. It doesn't matter what I do, so I just fight, I'll just fight. Bam. No damage. He totally changed it up from the last time, because the last time he was just like, Oh, really? You're gonna try and go burp on me, so super flexus. Well, three, you son of a... See, so he's toying with freaking, uh... He's toying with Celeste and freaking Savage. He's not even freaking beating him. He's not even using all of his freaking power. Alright, I'm gonna try and do some damage to you, sucker. Oh, yes. I'm gonna frickin' do that constantly. Until the frickin' blowfish. Crap! There, there goes, there goes, there goes everything. Turning out to be just like last time. Just like last time already now. God damn it, come on! Oh crap. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, I'm gonna frickin' I'm gonna fuck you up, fun bubba. Okay. Throw out some of the higher gears. I'm I'm going all out on this bastard this time. He is not going to take me out as easily as he thought he was going to take me out last time. I'm not playing around. It is game time. It is fucking time to take this guy out. Okay, 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 okay. Um, now we need to get right. Yeah. I'm freaking losing my train of thought here. Okay, okay. He's gonna hit me with Bolt 2. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, this is looking much better now. Fun Bubba, you should not have fucked with me. Sir, sir, you need to just stay, take a step back because I'm done looking at your green horned face. Okay. I'm still not liking your green horned face. Escape. Get the hell out of my face. Finally. Oh my god. That took me longer than it should have, actually, to be honest. I've lost it. My fighting edge. I'm finally can continue on with the story. Mama, are you okay? Staying here. As you can see, I can't be of any help to you. Besides, the children really need me. But Tara. Nope. Maybe after a little bit more time passes. I need to understand what's happening to me. And that is unfortunately the most we can do with Tara at this point. But granted, we did get some backstory. Thanks for scaring Fun Bubble away. In his haste, he dropped this here. Receive the Massus Magicite Fenrir. Ah, all right, let's check out. Let's check that uh, that out real quick. Um, how far did he get into that? Not far at all. Okay, good to know. Ooh, okay, we're gonna need people to learn that one here very shortly. But oh my God, can I take a rest here? Can I? 
Oh wait, isn't there a house? Hold on, I think... I think there's a house in the north part of town that I could just like curl up in the bed and be like, I'm, I'm sleeping here. I think. I think. I want to say it's the relic shop up here. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Okay, alright, now, yay, let's move on, because we don't need to be in Mobiliz anymore for the time, uh, time being. English not so good all of a sudden. So, we are going to head to the other side of the Serpent Trench. Or is it now called, probably called the Serpent Continent? Bloom Vamp, Bloom Pyres. I had to fight a lot of these things to level up myself to get to the point where I could take out Fun Bubba. Uh, they're, they can be nasty. If they threw out a freaking bio, I, I would be kind of irritated because they don't have the antidotes to uh, compensate for that. But in here, right here, it's a nice little chuckabo stable, which is awesome. Want to know how to ride a chuck boat? That's right, I haven't actually done it, have I? I think I did it once, and that was it. Press the A button or up on the control pad to go forward. Steer with the control pad. Okay. Press the B button to dismount. Careful, once you get off, the bird will return to its pen. Chuck bow's the noblest of creatures. It is. Ooh. We're gonna have to jump for joy, apparently, for that. Uh, yeah, what? 100 GP? I can, I can spare 100 GP. And we get... The Chuckabo music, which I actually, actually uh, have not actually shown off at this point. So, we'll uh, enjoy this little bit of music as it drops my frame rate. Uh, as we get up to the other side of the Serpent Trench, which is, it's cool, it's, uh, this reminds me of the, uh, what is it, the Chuckabo Racing Track from Final Fantasy VII? A lot, it reminds me of that a lot. But, uh, I'm actually looking forward to Final Fantasy VII coming back. Okay, uh, this, I, I, you know, wanted to mention this as I was going by it. Uh, as you can see, there's a tower in this little speck of land. And there's no way to get in there, right? There's no way. Okay, so we'll have to come back to that at some point. But, look, that's just weird. Right in the middle of the Serpent Trench, there's a tower. So, I don't know. I think it might deserve some uh, exploration at a later point. But, here we go. This is as far as we're going. Good job. Thank you, Chuckabo. Okay, so we're up at the north part of the Serpent Trench at Nikia, which it was a town that we visited, like, very briefly in the first part of the game. And it's killing my frame rate all of a sudden. So, uh, if I remember correctly, we pretty much passed by here with Saban, Shadow, and Cyan. Or, well, Gao. It was Gao. It was in Shadow. Shadow left him at that point. Oh, thank God. I need some potions. Badly. Okay. Enough of those items. Let's see what weapons we got. You got some new weapons for me, bro? A Rune Edge. I've already got two of them. You do. An Enchanter. I will buy one of those. Magic Power Up. Oh my God. That is a Celeste weapon if I've ever seen one. Uh, yeah, magic power up 53, battle power up a oh, crap load, magic block, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely going on in Celeste. That's the only weapon out of there, let's try to get out of this gentleman's way as we come over here to the armor shop. Diamond, oh, thank you. That's going to drop most of my money away right there. Wow. Wow. 
Okay, but it'll be worth it. It's gonna be worth it, because, uh, yeah, he'll get some boost. And... I don't want to drop that much off her... I will up her defense, though, her main defense. Oh, wait, that's straight diamond armor. Oh! No, I'm gonna go with the diamond vest. I think the diamond vest would be better suited for her at this point in time. Uh, look at the thought I was a loser. Now you're obligated to buy from Well, if you got anything good, which you apparently do, separate cape. Okay, so. He had his upper cape. I want one of them. Because that's a new relic that I'm pretty sure. Um. Yeah, I don't want to put it on him. Ah! Uh, the Zephyr Cape dodges attacks more easily. So yeah, I'm definitely going to put that on Celeste for the moment. Because she will get a huge benefit from that. And we're going to go into this inn. Go into the cafe. This is the cafe that uh, Sabin got, or not Sabin, uh, uh, Cyan got hit on by this this fine lady right here. I understand they escaped from Fairgo Castle Prison. Oh, been chatting with the boss of this game, Gerard. Is that almost like Gerard? I don't know. He's kind of handsome. boss wants us to sneak into Figaro Castle. He wants to get our booty back from the storage room there. Oh, okay. Our last boss perished that day. We met up with Gerard in this town. Okay. We'll enter the castle through the secret cave that only we knows about. Okay. Alright. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's go. I missed that whole bit about something swallowing. Alright, let me talk to him again. No. From out of nowhere, a bunch of huge sandworms burrowed into the prison. We followed their tunnels back to the surface and escaped. That was the thing I was missing. Okay. Oh, huh, alright. ship belongs to the Crimson Robbers. What are you doing? Get away. Okay. So I obviously need to find something else now. This is one of those parts of the game that I really hadn't had didn't have that much fun with until I realized what I was supposed to do and then this finally happened. Because this uh, fellow here looks kind of odd, kind of familiar slightly. What's your problem? Yeah, you're Edgar, aren't you? And he walks away, indignant. Indignant. Mm, yes. Mm, 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 yes. Rather good pumpkins and stuff you have here, Edgar. Enough of this nonsense. I have things to do. I'll be busy getting ready for our departure to Figaro. Don't play possum with me, Edgar. Or have you somehow lost your memory? Listen, my lady. I've been Gerard all my life. Only Edgar would say my lady. <coughs> my lady. <coughs> What's all the blooming fuss about? The words my lady are used the world over. <coughs> my lady. Yeah. Uh huh. And I'm a monkey's uncle. Oh yeah. You know how to get into Figaro Castle, don't you? Go, do we ever. Yeah, you lead the way since it's buried. Alright. We'll just uh, sneak on here all stowaway-like. 
ship stowing away on board a ship. And now we're traveling to another continent. I really like how in the first half of the game they introduce you to the world. They let you traverse across the whole world before giving you free reign of it for a short period of time. Uh, and then in the new world, they do pretty much the same thing. They have you travel from three separate continents now, at this point, uh, and each way you're getting to a different one a different way, which I thought was cool. So they got off the boat here, and this looks like Figaro, like South Figaro which we've been here before, many, many moons ago. Uh, what do you, all right. The girl cast a spear the day the world became unzipped. Some guy came through here a while ago looking for some secret treasure. Now all these thieves are demanding all our time. Whew, I'm exhausted. Figure castle had an accident under the desert, don't know what happened to his people. I don't know. Uh, we're storming Figaro Castle. That treasure's rightfully ours. Okay, so that's what they're doing. That sweet little girl stopped coming around here after the world ended. That sweet little girl. Did we encounter a sweet little girl here in, in Figaro? I can't remember. This was the, the merchant's place, the cider guy. Or no, this was, yeah, this was the merchant place where he had the site. I don't remember there being a little girl in this place. That's weird. Let's, let's go help him. Uh, hang on a sec. You people still here? Be polite now, Edgar. Boss, everything's ready. Let's go. Case of mistaken enemy, I bet this is for my dear her. Give her a In case you don't know what that meant, it was case of mistaken identity, my dear. Give it up. Matter of fact, start. Uh, 80 gil a night? No, we're good. We're going on hell. We're good on our health at this moment and point in time. We'll check this relic shop, even though I have little to no money at this point. A Cesar in no nah, ring. Oh, okay, I've got one of those. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good on all this. I'm good, I'm good. And you got pretty relics and all, but I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Thank you, though. Alright. See, that's cool. Even the merchants are helping build, rebuild the town. Even most of them are helping rebuild the town. Anyway. Let's see, uh... Ooh, okay, uh... Ooh, a gold longs. A golden longs. And a diamond armor. Here's where we can buy some more diamond armor. Well, we're good on diamond armor. So, okay. We're good. Oh. oh, well, I bought a shield. I bought a shield. Apparently we needed that shield, so I bought a shield. But, I'm pretty sure at this point, pretty sure at this point I just have to make sure that I'm well equipped on things and stuff and things and, uh, head to a cave that is just outside of South Figaro here, uh, following the person that we are suspecting is Edgar. Though he's dodging that question like a freaking maid, or like a freaking rogue. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to level up a bit out here, in this area, with new, new bunnies. Apparently the bunnies around South Figaro have mutated. Okay. I have no idea what he just did. I was busy looking at you guys. But, uh... Yeah, so I'm gonna have to level up a little bit, get some money on the side. Wow, they're really nice bunnies. 
So if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button under the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. In the next video, we will probably be entering this cave right here after I've uh, gotten everything I need from uh, South Figaro over there. And uh, from that point, we will continue on. But until that video, peace out. You think just because I'm a guy, I can't have emotions? I got, I got feels. Don't touch me. Just a fair warning, this video may contain some people. You know, those unintellectual people, you know, who are probably, you know, head under a rock. This is a good, good hat, good hat look. Should I flip this down? Should I be like that? I don't think so, because it's hard to see what's inside of this. I, I, I put it in the dryer and it messed up the hat. I'm a derp.